I've been involved with marketing of tourism uh, for a while now and I think uh, and I very often said when I went to New Zealand once uh, for Indian travelers that this is the best destination in the world and what would be an upgrade from here on and then I discovered Scandinavia and Denmark and I realized that this is perfectly a place that Indians should be looking to go to and it was a great opportunity because a lot of them did not know what Denmark had to offer uh, to uh, some of us recently finding out that Danes were the happiest people in the world and I think it's very interesting to find out that there must be a reason why they're very happy and why we should head towards uh, Denmark and the only way to find out is to actually be in Denmark to find out uh, talking about uh, the Danish design, talking about the quality of life, I think is something that's interesting us. A few years back when people from India wanted to go overseas, they still th thought that they wanted to go to a busy city like London or Paris. Today I think we want to run away from the crowds that we have back in India and uh, be in a place that's uh, completely different living and it just opens up uh, uh, you know, opportunity for Indians on a holiday to introspect to experience culture and art and uh, the traditions from a different country. Also, a lot of them are very encouraged to find out that uh, there are more, more than 14 Michelin star restaurants in Copenhagen. And uh, I know some of them are uh, aware of the best restaurant in the world. And uh, it was up for voting again, the, no, uh, uh, the, uh, the restaurant, uh, Noma's restaurant. And it's interesting when you find people talking about these intricate details of uh, the destination. Uh, and of course uh, the airport. Uh, I think I've heard uh, a lot of Indians talk about uh, that this is the cutest airport uh, that they've ever been to. And these are very encouraging signs because these are different from the typical shopping streets they went to. Uh, besides, of course, it still excites them that Stroget is the longest shopping street in the world. Uh, so it's been interesting facts uh, that we've been able to put forward to. But personally, I feel enthused uh, to market such a quality destination because um, uh, I can absolutely be confidently telling someone that this is great value for money. And I've uh, sometimes had people ask me that uh, they perceived uh, Denmark to be expensive and I said that you've got to be there to realize it's good value for money and I truly can uh, be sure that uh, uh, even if people are staying in in uh, three-star hotels, there is a minimum quality guaranteed. Uh, we've talked about uh, uh, we've talked about uh, the meat ovation uh, for people going there on meetings. Uh, in, uh, small towns like uh, Odense uh, and the Funen region, uh, the islands, and um, the opportunities to be. Uh, going fishing or uh, going um, uh, on team building ac uh, activities or families visiting the Tivoli Gardens or the Legoland. So I think it's been uh, very very encouraging the response and that further enthusiasm uh, uh, puts us through a lot of enthusiasm to really go back uh, to smaller towns today. Uh, I was very impressed to get a call from a very small town in India that we haven't even targeted as yet uh, and somebody on a retirement uh, uh, want to visit uh, Denmark as his dream destination. So it's very encouraging and I'm sure the future is very bright and the exchange um, that we want to take uh, India and Denmark through will uh, have a lot of people uh, uh, appreciate each other's cultures and uh, would be good for business and good for tourism.